Alright, so like Wizard fans, another re-review from my previous channel, Laura Gimser as the original Black Emmanuel. Let's check it out. There's Laura Gimser, Black Emmanuel herself, although she plays a character named Mae Jordan in this movie. She's on an airplane and she's seen a couple get frisky. She's apparently a photographer on her way to Africa. All many missionaries today choose to dress the way the natives do. I don't understand. A young man like you giving up to go and live in the bush. Take you to my house, Jen. Happy to meet you. This is your friend Anne no, and Gianni, her husband. The fact that I've turned out to be a phenol doesn't upset your plans, I hope. If so, I can go to a hotel. Oh, no. No. Our house is big enough. Okay. She also meets Richard, her future real-life husband, Gabrielle Tinti. There's a lot of partying and carousing going on. This is her friend again. And she's always kind of been obsessed with the guy who, uh, like, cleans her car and stuff, so... She's going to give him a little treat because he's always staring at her and trying to look up her dress. Of course, she happened to leave Emmanuel in the car, and when she doesn't come back right away, she has to go peek through the window to see what she's doing. Can't show you what she sees, though. All done. Filled up. Oh, I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. But I just did a good deed before. You couldn't hold out any longer. <laughs> what about your husband? My husband? <laughs> Don't you worry about Jen. Why? Are you angry with me? Not at all. But what happened last night? Nothing right. happened. I want to make love to you, but not in a car. Like a couple of teenagers. All right, man. Later on, she finds herself in a shower with him. Or she promptly tries to eat his back. She meets a painter, and within a minute or two, they're going to be doing it on the couch. So her character is supposed to be a photographer, so we do have some scenes of her taking photos of wildlife. There's actually quite a bit of that in this movie. Then she takes pictures of Anne. Pretty soon she makes her get naked and then they both run around naked taking pictures. Once they get back, they decide to consummate their newfound nakedness. Wish I could show you that. She fantasizes about being with Anne's husband. Then there's the piano scene. Anne really enjoys this guy's piano playing. I mean, really, really, really enjoys it. So much, I can't even show you how much. Manuel really likes kissing girls. I get it. I do too. More frolicking in the water. I give it to him. And she gets in a vehicle and decides to go deep into the jungles of Africa. Where she meets some natives. She then does some dirty dancing before getting involved with the 
giant tribal orgy with a bunch of them. Can't show you much more of this. It's about to be some more boning by the waterfall. Manuel likes everybody. Next thing you know, she's on a train being ogled by a bunch of, uh, I think, soccer players. She resists a little bit at first, but I don't think she's bothered too much by it. I don't know what, if anything, occurred with all the guys, but eventually one guy approaches her in the night, and he definitely does do some things with her, which I can't show you. And he's joined by a few teammates shortly after. Something always happens, believe me. It's better like this. It wouldn't work. Gianni wanted to be with her. Love is not enough, Gianni. They say their goodbyes. She trains off into the sunset. Let's talk about the original Black Emmanuel. This came out in 1975. Now, the original Emmanuel movie with Silver Crystal came out in 74, I think. And the sequel, Emmanuel 2, Joys of a Woman, came out in 70... has a 75 date also, however. I think it was released in the States in 76. And this thing came out in 75. Now, Laura Gimser appeared in Emmanuel 2, but not as Emmanuel. Uh, it was a different character. So, I but I think she may have filmed this one first. I'm not sure. Who the hell cares? Who the hell knows? So, anyway... In this movie, we actually hear her name. Her name is actually Mae Jordan, but the movie's called Black Emmanuel. I don't think they actually called her Emmanuel in the movie. Maybe, maybe they didn't, maybe, I'm not sure. But anyway, she is a photographer and she's going to Africa to uh, shoot some various things. And while she's there, she's supposed to uh, meet this uh, woman named Anne. Now, Anne is married to this guy named Gianni and they say, hey, come just stay with us. That's fine. So they do that and they kind of introduce Emmanuel to this uh, hedonistic lifestyle they have. Um, there's parties, uh, wild parties, toplessness, nudity, people have sex with each other, that sort of thing. She also meets uh, Richard, played by Gabrielle Tinti, who Laura Gemser went on to marry a few years later um, and starred in several other movies with, um, several of the Black Emmanuel movies, actually, and, and others, I think, too. But So anyway, um, there's really not a whole hell of a lot of plot in this movie. It's basically... Uh, Manuel gets introduced to various things. She tries lesbianism. She um, gets involved in an orgy. She dances around with some natives, and then she gets humped by them. Um, she gets, I don't know if it was assaulted or was it uh, willing. She ended up sleeping with, like, an entire soccer team or something on a train. I don't know. Um, there were some nude photo shoots uh, running around in the desert. Uh, Manuel was a photographer. There's some wildlife scenes. Um, ultimately, she she and Gianni got the hots for each other, and I think they screwed at one point, but um, Gianni, I guess they kind of wanted to be with each other, but of course he's married to Anne, um, and they don't really explain how uh, he, he's going to leave her for her, but at the end of the movie, she's about to get on the train, and he wants to join her, and she basically gives him a speech where she says, no, this, this isn't right, uh, it's not meant to be, sort of thing, and then she hops on the train and uh, goes off into the sunset to do future Emmanuel movies. That's Black Emmanuel. Now, this DVD, I think I got this from Australia, actually. It's a PAL DVD. To my knowledge, it's not available in... Um, actually, it says NTSC in the back, but I think it's PAL. But to my knowledge, it's not available. Maybe because it's Australian. A lot of Australian movies are region-free. I should actually try it. And um, does It does say NTSC if you look closer there. So maybe this is NTSC. I was going to say, this isn't available in this country. I don't think it is available in this country. It's available in the UK. There's a PAL DVD out there, and it's available in Australia, which was this one. But this actually might be NTSC. So maybe if you're looking for this, 
you can find it. Now, I can tell you the quality of this DVD is not that great. It's framed really weird for some reason. It's cropped on all four sides, and, and it looks like it was probably burned from a VHS tape, I think. Now, years ago, I actually had I actually had the VHS tape of Emmanuel in Africa. Um, although this did say Black Emmanuel in the title, didn't it? But um, there, I also had a copy, I still have it, of a... Of a I think it's a imported uh, version with some X-rated scenes in them, which this one does not have. Um, they were clearly uh, body doubles. They weren't actually Emmanuel. Or I'm sorry, they weren't actually Laura Gimser doing it. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, this was just uh, this is how it started for Laura Gemser in, in the Black Emmanuel series. It says on the back of the box here that she made eight of those. I think that's probably about right. And there were some other movies she made where. It wasn't an official Black Emmanuel movie, but they called her or retitled it with an Emmanuel movie. So who the hell knows how many she actually did. But this was the first. So there you go. The first official Black Emmanuel movie. So that's it. Plenty of nudity in there. Plenty of uh, full frontal love scenes. A couple of risque stuff thing, things in here as well. And, of course, the women who get naked all look beautiful. So does Laura Gamser. So that's it. Check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about it. Um, there is a... Uh, some rumors, again, that Severin, I think Severin, oh, Vinegar Syndrome, I think it was, who put out the Black Emanuel's box two sets, uh, which I have. But Black Emanuel was not on either of those box sets. But there's some rumors that I think Vinegar is going to be putting out another uh, Laura Gemser collection at some point, perhaps later this year. Maybe they'll unearth a good copy of Black Emanuel because uh, we need it. It's not out there yet. Check it out. Leave some comments. Black Emanuel. Watch it. Bye. Black Emanuel.